Anderson Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. So I'm gonna attach the rust cleaning video that I just made to this. Um, just did a quick demo. Um, rust removal off of a brass statue. Um, came out awesome. Um, I did apply straight just because I was doing the demo. Um, typically that would not be necessary at all. We usually cut uh, the rust remover plus we can pretty much do one part rust remover plus and three or four parts water um, and it still cleans like magic. Um, I could probably try cutting it even further but at that point I'm getting a whole lot of, lot of money being made out of it. Um, but yeah, so I mean with that I just took a rag, dipped it in, wiped it on the spot, um, rinsed it, and that's it. Uh, because there is a lot of money to be made with rust removal. A couple quick tips when you're spraying rust removal products, whether or not it's you know Rust Remover Plus, F9, whatever. Um, you always want to be aiming towards the surface. And you know, and obviously it's kind of obvious to say that, but instead of just spraying down on it. If you've got, let's say, grass here and you know the sidewalk here, you want to spray from the grass onto the sidewalk. Um, if you're spraying from the sidewalk and you're going out like this, you're going to end up burning the edges of the grass. Um, I always advise customers about this too. That hey, you've got a lot of heavy rust on here. It does take, you know, what we use to clean it. it it's an acid, um, so it is very possible that you may end up with some temporary browning of the grass at the edges of your sidewalk. That's it. That's all. That's all you have to say to explain to them. They they understand. I mean, it, their bigger issue right now is all the rust. Once all the rust is gone, if you haven't told them that this acid can change the pH and can certainly can kill grass, they're going to be mad that the grass is brown. And then you got an irate customer over something that you know you knew was going to happen. So you got to let them know that up up front. Um, but guys, there's so much money to be made with rust removal. Because I've, I've literally bought every single product at, at Ace, Home Depot, and Lowe's. Tried it out on, honestly, probably the weakest rust that I've needed to remove ever. Um, just a little bit of, I mean, it was just very, very light sprinkler rust um, on some vinyl siding. Which is actually really easy to take care of. Um, honestly, with the rust removal products now, um, deal more often with stuff where... Um, you have to watch out with the rust removal that you don't brighten the siding too much and that's something else that you've got to tell your customer you know if, especially if it's a strong amount of rust that's on there you know with our process as we get this cleaned up it is possible for a little bit of discoloration with this we're gonna try and treat a slightly larger area than just that little spot so that it blends it a little bit better um, but again, it's going to look a whole lot better without having that orange on it. It just may, you know, if it's if it's a dark blue, it may be a little bit lighter. Um, if it's a, you know, whatever other off color, it may be a little bit different than that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, again, it's a great add-on. Um, make sure that your rust removal chemicals stay far, far, far away from bleach um, or you're going to die. Uh, make sure any and all employees understand the seriousness of that. Um, so, yeah, have a great day. Be safe. Make some money with rust removal. Have a great day. So, again, we've used our rust removal product. Got the rust off. And then just a little bit of agitation, too, because, I mean, you're going to get this is going to overall dies. This entire statue, these two birds, um, could look amazing once they're done. So, again, this is just a demo that we're doing to, to show what can be, can be done on here. And... Uh, we end up doing it all. We'll show you the full video. Have a great day.